Crimson Contingency. In the event that the Horde will come close to striking against the Scarlet Brotherhood, these measures are to be taken with the utmost speed. Many lives of our sleeper agents will be sacrificed, yet that has become unavoidable. These plans must be executed all at once or in quick succession to ensure our success. Codename Fox. The Vulpera are tiny in size, yet cunning and strong adversaries. They have an awareness of their surroundings that match that of the Worgens. Their greatness strength, though, can also be their greatness weakness. A simultaneous olfactive and auditive attack would destabilize their reaction time and make them lose balance. In such a case, the strike must be true and none left alive. Codename Savages The Horde's backbone stands in its orcs, a fiercely strong race compromised of Magar from an alternate universe and those from our own. While strong, the orcs are very easily corruptible. Poisoning their food and water with demon blood will boost their savagery and bloodlust, but it will also turn them to fight each other. You could neutralize the blood so you can decide when to activate it, then that will make it undetectable to their shamans. More experiments are required. Codename Scourge. The undead now number less than before. If they can be caught between ravaging orcs, their magics and cunning would prove useless. In case they somehow manage to avoid slaughter by orcs, then exposure to their own chemicals would be recommended. Another solution would be to let them decay. From our knowledge, they cannot make more of themselves, and their decay process is faster. They will die out before anything else. Codename Milk The Tauran are perhaps one of the strongest races on our planet. Direct confrontation is ill-advised. With all that, their speed is only average. If we could repurpose some gnome technology to create faster vehicles, then lightning tanks are the best indication against them, striking them before they know what happened. For the high mountain, we must create flying vehicles. More technology must be acquired. Codename Voodoo Trolls have been an enemy of humanity for a long time. They possess speed and strength above our own. But we have learned in ages that their big biggest weakness is fire. While they do possess regenerative abilities, those mean nothing in front of blazing infernos. Surprise attacks are most ideal against the Dark Spears, yet their proximity to water might save more than we want. The Zandalari also suffer from the same boon. But if we could turn the water around these savage isles into fire, then their only escape would be through the blazes. Codename Greed None is more dangerous for goblin safety than his own creations. With suggestions and carefully implemented actions, we can ensure that the Bilgewater cartel would be fully focused on creating a device that will bring their own doom. While their new leader Gaslow looks to be a better engineer than Gallywix, careful sabotage of this grand project will lead to a disaster on the scale of a mana bomb. If we convince them to make this in Ogrimmar, then that will solve more problems. Codename, Wandering. The Pandaren are a strong and mystical force. The controlled demon orcs could slaughter them at the same time with the undead. Yet their chances of survival might be higher than the undead. As strong as they are, the Pandaren of the Horde are driven by emotions more than anything else. Careful implementation of Doomsayers and Desperation into their ranks would turn them passive to an extent. Yet the best solution we theorize is to give them an opponent that will keep them in a constant state of battle. A strong illusion could do the trick. Codename Traitors The Blood Elves are formidable foes, even if traitors. The best plan of action would be to corrupt their sun well for long enough until they all wither away. Thus a sacrifice force must be created that could hold the well until the Blood Elves are all lost. Another problematic aspect is how m much corruption would it take. A few voidals and demons sacrificed into the world should be enough to turn them to madness faster than the actions of the Butcher Arthurs. We must experiment more with Project Sundering. Codename Red Knight The Nightborn are, are as strong as the Night Elves of the Alliance and as addicted to magic as the Blood Elves of the Horde. At the moment they are trying to distance themselves from the powers of their Nightwell. 
yet there are still those who want to use it. A little push can start another civil war in their midst. After that magical sabotage that will ensure their magical portal malfunctions, well, we could in theory cut them off from the rest of the horde. In the event that such actions need to be taken, consider a careful approach and the proper time to implement them.